आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनराव द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at www.unravelthethread.com i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration on today's episode yoga sutra 146 meditation states with seed Sutra 46 in chapter 1 says these previous states of deep meditation samadhi are called with seed sabija because they use either a gross or subtle focal point the meditation practices up to this point have all used a focal object as a support called a seed bija Just like scaffolding is erected during construction of a building, regardless of how useful the scaffolding was, once the building is complete, the scaffolding becomes an obstacle and since it is no longer useful, it is removed. Similarly, the involution process of meditation keeps moving from the outside towards the innermost aspect of your being whatever focal point you are using to focus your awareness will eventually be released another reason these types of integration samadhi are called with seed sa bija is because there are still some remaining impressions some scars stored in the practitioner's subconscious memory these impressions are the seeds of future actions and inclinations you can try the idea of releasing the focal point by refining the technique for chanting om or aum suggested in sutra 127 You start chanting at a comfortable level with external sound establishing a smooth flow of air and sound to invite your mind to stay with this experience. Gradually, start decreasing the volume of your chant so that the sound remains steady and fluid as it becomes softer and softer. Take your time. and savor the experience continue making the sound softer until it becomes a barely audible whisper then continue moving your mouth while chanting silently making the movements ever more subtle remaining focused inwardly Stop the movement of your lips and make your inner chant even more delicate so that your attention is gentle and effortless. Continue until the silent chant is as subtle as possible. Eventually, release the silent chant. and remain with its silent reverberation in your being remain with this soft yet persistent focus for as long as it is comfortable when your mind becomes distracted return to chanting at the minimal level of effort eventually releasing the chant again What happens when you try this? What do you notice? As usual, one more way of exploring the meaning of this sutra is by chanting it. You can choose to chant it in its traditional form with some of the words coming together. Ta eva 
ಸಬೀಜ ಸಮಾಧಿ Another option is to chant each word in the sutra individually. Sah eva sabija samade Ta eva sabija samade Ta eva Savija Samadhi Ta Eva Savija Samadhi Ta Eva Savija Samadhi Ta eva savija samadhi thank you very much for listening i hope you can join me for the next episode when we will explore sutra 47 in chapter 1 please remember you can find more information at unravelthethread.com I would certainly appreciate it if you could share this podcast. Thank you. Until next time. Namaste. Mm-hmm.